Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the plotting of the rectangle signal and also a square wave uh, signal of length equal to two periods. So the first one is a rectangle or a rectangular signal which has the following shape. So it starts at minus a and ends at plus a. And the value is 1. So this is a rectangle signal. We denote it as x1 of t equal to by definition u of t plus a minus u of t minus. That is it is the difference with two unit step signals one starting at minus a other one starting at plus a. So we get the rectangular signal form. Now let us look at the MATLAB code for this. So in this, uh, uh, in this code we have uh, two shifted unit step signals. The first one uh, st uh, starts at minus a here we assume a is equal to 2. So shift is equal to minus 2 and then we have the starting and ending point time vector. So we uh, give them as parameters to this my unit step shift function and we get both t1 and x1 where t1 is the time axis or the time vector and x1 is the uh, unit step, uh, the unit step signal starting at minus 2. Similarly, we also generate a unit step signal at uh, that starts at plus 2. So now we take the difference of these two signals to get the rectangle function or the rectangular signal. So as we defined, the rectangular signal starts at minus 2 and ends at plus 2, which can be verified by using the data cursors. So it starts at minus 2 at plus 2. So next, we we'll, uh, let us look at the plotting of a square wave that has a length equal to the length equal to two periods. That is, we define a signal x2 of t, which is equal to 1 in the range from 0 to a, and it is equal to minus 1 in the next interval, that is from a to 2a, and then plus 1 in the interval 2a to 3a, and finally minus 1 in the interval 3a to 4a. So basically, that is a pulse, that is a square wave, that is a square wave of a length equal to 2 periods. Here, the period is basically equal to 2a. So this is 0a, 2a, 3a and 4a. So values are 1 and minus. So now the goal is to plot this uh, curve or plot this uh, square wave using MATLAB. So, uh, so for this purpose we need to write the definition in terms of unit step signals. So let us look at the definition in terms of unit step signal. In this case what we will do is we break down the signal x2 of t, x2 of t as basically summation of four components x2 1 of t plus x2 2 of t x2 3 of t and x2 4 of t x2 1 of t is basically the first component that is it is equal to 1 from 0 to a so in terms of unit step signals it will be a rectangle signal starting at 0 and ending at a so, u of t minus u of t minus and similarly x22 of t will be a rectangle signal but with a value uh, multiplied by minus 1 so it will be u of t minus a minus u of t minus 2a and then there is a minus in front so that means it's a uh, negative pulse and then similarly x23 of t is again u of t minus 2a minus u of t minus 3a so finally x24 of t will be again minus 1 so it will be minus of u of t minus 3a minus u of t minus so these four uh, components uh, can be added to get our square wave so that is what that is what we have written in this code so we generate this respect to unit step signals uh, that are shifted to the respect to points for example the first one starts at 0 starts at 2 that is a is equal assumed to be 2 third one uh, starts at 2 and ends at 4 that is be the difference between the unit step signal that starts at 2 and end the uh, and the unit step signal that starts at 4 so, so the second pulse starts uh, uh, extends from 2 to 4 similarly the third one and fourth one that is we basically find the difference between two consecutive pulses uh, two consecutive unit steps uh, starting at corresponding points and we get the whole square wave that is x is equal to x1 plus so these four components are basically uh, these uh, uh, rectangle functions are basically so now let us look at the plot so clearly from 0 to 2 we have 1 and from 2 to 4 we have minus 1 and 4 to 6 we have plus 1 and 6 to 8 we have minus so that is what we have defined in x2 of t and assuming a is equal
So thus we can plot it in MATLAB. We can also rewrite this function uh, instead of uh, daily, uh, separately writing the definition of all these rectangles. We can uh, use a for loop and define uh, uh, sequentially and then put them in a matrix and uh, that is we build a matrix with the components x21 x21 x2 uh, we build them as a uh, component and we we add them to get uh, finally to get the signal x that is we get the square wave we get a similar signal so upon plotting we can clearly see this is exactly again a square wave and the length of the square wave is clearly equal to uh, a plus a 2a 2a times 2 4a so it is equal to twice the uh, period of the signal so to summarize we have looked at the plotting of both the rectangle signal and also the uh, square wave signal. So the rectangle signal is basically the different two shifted unit step signals and by using this definition we are able to uh, plot them in MATLAB uh, generating the unit step signals uh, starting at their respective points and then we find the difference we get our rectangle. So that's the rectangle signal. Similarly we also generate, generated a square wave based on the given definition that is in interval it will be alternating between 1 and minus 1 that is for every interval uh, it will be 1 and minus 1 and again 1 and minus uh, rectangle definition uh, starting at different points uh, definition of a rectangle and these four rectangular components to add and we add them to get this uh, the square wave signal and then we plot them in MATLAB using directly the definition once and also by using a functional and also by using a for loop uh, so we are able to generate the square wave power. so thus we are able to generate the square wave of length equal to two periods thanks for watching